Welcome to the Dead Pixel Society podcast, the photo imaging industry's leading news source. Here's your host, Gary Peugeot. The Dead Pixel Society podcast is brought to you by Media Clip, Photo Finale, and Advertech Printing. Hello again and welcome to the Dead Pixel Society podcast. I'm your host, Gary Peugeot, and today we're joined by Annie Poisson, the founder of Photosco, a volume photography firm based near Montreal. Hello, Annie. How are you today? I'm pretty good yourself. So, Annie, you have an interesting background prior to getting into the school and volume photography business about five years ago. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I call myself like, you know, I have like the mini wheat syndrome. <laughs> For all my life, um, I was like in between, you know, uh, science and mm-hmm. fine arts. Okay. And like uh, Orienter at school says that, you know, you cannot love math if you like, you know, heart. It was impossible, right. but right. here I am. Uh, so my whole life was in between like the business and art side, always right. like struggling to, to get a balance. So I've studied um at Concordia University in fine arts and also in women in the fine arts, but always work after that in uh, sales and marketing. So that was like quite, you know, quite different, but, you mm-hmm. know, I really have like a strong business side. Um, but then in uh, 2012, I got a car accident. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But now I'm okay. <laughs> so I developed uh, RSD or um, it's called like uh, CRSP in English, like uh, regional pain syndrome, whatever. So got me out of work because um, I was on um, a disease leave. Um, and then my husband uh, said I was really interested in photo Mm -hmm. so he bought me my first Nikon and I had like a teacher who came at my house and showed me like how to you know shoot in manual mode like and that was it I just like I I can it kind of save me in a way Mm -hmm. because I focus like just discover a new passion and you know uh, for all my life my medium was painting and but I never had the connection that I have with photo. So um, what style of painting did you have? I mean, was it like, you know, realistic, impressionist, modern? um, How can I say that? I was putting color on a canvas uh, with a lot of, you know, uh, diluted, like, so it was kind of, you know, uh, really washy color and then it was mixing and then I saw always like see something in it mm-hmm. like faces okay. and then I go from there and develop it so the, it was always with like um, human kind of but mm-hmm. always floating I was just seeing if there's a connection between your visual style with painting and photography I'm really into portraits and like, <laughs> well, 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 there you were, you said you were looking for the face in the painting and now. You're yeah. <laughs> yeah. And really on the sponge, sponge on his side uh, as well. So, so for a lot of people though, in your situation where they're, they're maybe learning photography as a, mm-hmm. as a means of expression, a hobby mm-hmm. or whatever, they don't make the leap to make it into the business side of it, especially relatively, quickly as you did. I mean, just a few years before you opened up your business. Can you talk about that evolution of kind of going from the hobbyist to the business person? It all started, um, my youngest uh, son was in uh, kindergarten and his teacher was like, just amazing. So I wanted to give her something, you know, special. So I went uh, on her day off in the classroom, take picture of all the kids Mm -hmm. while they were drawing uh, something for her. And I just make a photo album with all the drawings and the kid picture. Mm -hmm. And I have like two copies printed. Mm -hmm. So one for the teacher, one for my son. 
teacher was like, it's the best gift ever. Sure, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and then the I received, yeah. So, and then all the kids talked to their parents. Parents asked me, they wanted to have that photo book as well because there were a picture of like each kid has his picture and his drawing and a little sentence and everything so it was like a you know like a photo group in a book sure so i received call from the parents but it was really like a volunteer experience for me sure. so i put it like I, I didn't charge anything just the cost cover my costs And the parents just asked me, you know, that's the type of picture that we would like to have, you know, from school, not the traditional portrait. We're kind of sick and tired of of those kind of portraits. We never, they don't look like our kids, you know, it's really uh, stiff and so on. So this is how it started. So when you started in the school business, did you, how did you get clients and, and, market that i mean you know obviously i'm sure there's a lot of schools that you know have a lot of parents who say i can do your school pictures for you and it, the person doesn't have the skills so a how did you start how did you learn the skills i just started from scratch <laughs> <laughs> i mean what were some of the resources you uh, you looked at because uh, clearly if you if you've done some business and marketing in the past yeah. then you knew it, there was more to it than just showing up with a camera bag and Send yeah, totally, totally. So, um, well, the first album uh, just became uh, the year after I did like several albums for this school. Mm-hmm. And I asked the permission to the parents to use their the, the kids' picture. Mm-hmm. So started to create my website, started to create a brochure. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've asked like the secretary, can you show me, you know, what kind of advertising you receive every, every year. So I based myself upon that. I wanted to be really different because I wanted to have like the concept of, you know, candid pictures. And and so I have to, to, to have a different approach. Mm-hmm. I also have like a precise idea of what I wanted to um, mm-hmm. as a web shop. Because, you know, I am a photographer, but I am also mother of three kids. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you buy picture uh, every year, it's like you have to think, okay, so how many five by seven or eight by 10 do I need? So, <laughs> right. and then you have to, okay, which package should I take? Oh, this one, but I need, no, okay. So you always end up having like too many mini picture. Right. And I just moved last summer and I can tell you my oldest is at university right now. And I still have so many unused picture mm-hmm. in a file. You know, I mean, small little prints, small little prints or whatever, because, you know, really basically you need like most like this five by seven and eight by 10. Mm-hmm. I draw like the solution that I wanted. And I, I did my research on the web to find like the workflow because I like innovation. I like that everything, you know, I love technology. I want to everything be automated. So I was looking for that, my dream workflow in the market mm-hmm. and couldn't find it. So I approached a developer and realized how much money I would, I would need. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, let's go to back to Google and, uh, you know. I mean, at this point, what size was your business? I mean, did you, I mean, you're looking at developing software and ever, did you have employees? Did you have no. a studio? Okay, so it was no, just you. I, I, I'm, I'm that crazy. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm that crazy. It's like, it's always like think big and, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, it was, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't, I really had that idea that I, I didn't want to use like paper. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, so, so so the contactless thing, which is trendy now, you were looking at five years ago. Finally, after you know, uh, assist uh, a lot of demos from you know a lot of players in the market, I discovered NetLife uh, mm-hmm. in Norway, um, uh, which was uh, for Canada was distributed by HVP Solution. Um, so I just I just took like the whole 
like the pro version, I was kind of crazy, really. Because okay. usually, <laughs> you know, usually uh, the pro version is like for 10,000 heads per yeah. year. Yeah. I was just, I had like zero ad per year mm-hmm. and I right. bought it. <laughs> so I was that crazy. But honestly, I'm still with it today. And mm-hmm. it's like just perfect. Mm-hmm. And the web shop was what I wanted mm-hmm. because the parents was were able to um, mix and match their their picture of their even of you know if they have two kids they can do a collage and right. so it was really innovative uh and brand new i was the first one in canada to to integrate netlife and to have that web shop so from a workflow standpoint how does this work in the field for those people who aren't familiar with netlife okay so because i was doing uh you know candid uh picture you know um in the classroom, I really had to find a way to identify uh, and match the data with the picture. Sure. So, uh, so you have like the QR code. So it's really like the it's really simple because the school just they sent their name list through uh, the school portal. Mm-hmm. We have like a school portal, and then this data is uh, transformed into QR. So you take the QR and then you shot the kid and then you put back the QR codes and the picture in the system and everything is automated. How do the parents see the proofs then or see that to order a product? How do they, how do they see that? Do they get a code of some sort or how does that happen? Yeah. And that was different too. Uh, remember five years ago, having the email uh, the parents email was kind of really new. Yeah, especially since I think, especially in Canada, you have a lot of privacy concerns there. Yeah, I did have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did have a complaint about that, and I had like uh, to 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 go with the board, and you know, everything is perfect now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, there was a, that app for uh, privacy, but it's it's this cool responsibility. So, so how long does it take? from the time the exposure is taken until the parent sees the proof? Uh, it's always depending on, the, you know, uh, I'm a bit crazy too about the editing process. And okay. now thanks God to uh, Image Salon. <laughs> they are doing the job for us. So that's so much more, uh, that's amazing. And who is that? It's uh, Image Salon. Uh, okay. They're based in Montreal. In yeah. Montreal, and they do. Uh, it's an editing studio. They okay. are amazing and working with photographers around the world. So, so you're not really doing traditional school portraits per se, in the sense you're doing the up against the screen and giving people the chance to look at their backgrounds and change the backgrounds, and maybe that's the the the, the limit of the editing. Maybe retouch a little here and there. But your but your but your product is positioned more as a keepsake of the school right so it's more of a portrait type thing it's more of a portrait and you know it's like it's it's to give the kids a real memory you know having the background of his classroom you know I was going through my school picture I'm 46 now but it didn't change that much like you know the type of picture that we take so that was but, kind of the point is it didn't change, but you could see the evolution of the child. Over. Yeah. And, and the, you know, the photo industry changed so much, mm-hmm. but that's the part of this cool, in- the, the photography industry that just still a bit old school. Right. Let's say I didn't have any memory. I can't recall all my classroom was, and you know, it was not like emotional. I just like, you know, you focus on, Oh my God, did you see my hair? And, You know, it's interesting you say it because you're talking about the child almost as the customer as opposed to the parent. When you know what? I realized that a lot of people think that these pictures are not for the parents. Mm -hmm. They are for the grandparents. Right. Okay. It's really funny, but, you know, maybe today, like, the grandparents will enjoy it more, but... Mm -hmm. In 20 years, grandparents won't be there anymore. So 
right. it has to be a real memory, you right. know, something that's really emotional for the kid and to remember how, how the kid was also. It's really important for a lot, a lot of the personality you're trying to capture. Yeah. It must take, I mean, my experience with covering the volume photography business, though, it's very much you've got 13 to 18 seconds to capture an image, right? So how long is this taking to do this, what you're talking about? It's got to be, I mean, it's not, I mean, obviously, this isn't for everybody. This isn't a solution for this approach, market approach is not for everybody. And I don't think you're trying to pretend that it is. But I'm just curious, in terms of the process, how long do you get per kid, do you think? Usually, we would like with two, two photographers, we will be there, uh, let's say, 35 minutes per group. Per class. Yeah. So, so about some, a minute a kid, approximately. Yeah. Uh, and a bit more sometimes because we're working uh, two photographers. So mm-hmm. okay. the concept evolved a bit because um, the parents still want to have like, you know, a shot, like, where the kid looks at the camera and you don't see any any other kids in the background so that's the grandma picture but still we do it with a lot of fun in the classroom and because we do it in the classroom and that was prior to covid um the kids are in their comfort zone so they are much more relaxed and natural and you know for us like it's kind of a party and and when the kids, um, mm-hmm. they saw us the year after, it's like, oh, yay, it's you again. And they remember, you know, the silly names that we say. And it's really like interacting a bit more with the kids. It is interesting because in the traditional school environment, the photographer will set up in the gym and they'll line people up and they'll have 12 to 13 seconds to take a picture, right? But you're reaching the students, like you said, where they feel most comfortable are relaxed. And uh, I imagine there's a lot of positive energy and uh, chemistry in that room. Yeah, totally, totally. And like the best thing that, you know, the best comment I can have from a a parent is like, oh my God, this is so much my kid. You just capture Mm -hmm. who he is really, you know? And that's what I want to remember. Right. in a few years you know like showing his personality instead of taking a pose from the business side um yep. how how are the sales compared to what do you think would be a traditional sitting are people buying more do you think because it is such a personalized experience as opposed to a yeah the the sales rate are are pretty good um the prices that we do charge is really in the market maybe a a bit more uh but we cannot just go below that you know uh but but because the way the web shop is structured it's more expensive yes and no because parents you know if they they don't have a lot of money they can buy just let's say they have two kids they can buy one sheet Mm-hmm. and put you know a picture of each kid on it okay so that's our way so you're, selling by the, so you're selling per sheet basically on some of these most of these packages yeah well the way it works is basically it's you have to every volume photography is printing on eight by ten sheets right mm-hmm. so you're purchasing like five by seven you get two five by seven on, on an eight, uh, eight by ten sheet so basically, like if you have like a package in our web shop of four sheets, well, it's like if you have like four blank sheet and you put whatever you want on it. Okay. So that's a great value for the parents. And, and your customers are comfortable doing that. Yeah. But, you know, the system will show a preview and there will like be default template assigned to the sheets and um, uh, so they don't see a blank sheet it's already filled up but they can change the layout if they want they can change the post so it's not as frightening and we also have like you know a package that is an easy 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 it's like you choose one post and the, the, the picture will go everywhere that's it so if you're not feeling comfortable just use this one and you're good to go. And what are you seeing with uh, 
people buying the digital file or the download or people allowed to do that? Yeah, of course. Um, and I'm a really, I really believe that prints and digital together is the best thing. Because mm -hmm. who knows in 10 years if we will be able to look at JPEGs. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So. Well, and the thing is, I think people who just buy the download maybe have the intention of printing later, but then they don't bother, right? Or they, you know, they get busy, they lose track. And uh, so, what, so when your your images are printed, how how where are they being printed? Are they being printed through a lab, or how? Yeah, and everything is automated, so I don't have to you know take orders or you know the sales just go through the system. And when the free school delivery uh, time is up, I just leave, I release uh, the orders, and they go to the lab, and then they go to school. Do you see much interest in other ancillary products besides prints, like, you know, uh, ornaments or cards or anything like that? Or have you gotten involved in much of that side of the business? Yeah, uh, I do. And uh, one of the goal is really to develop our own, you know, also design. Uh, we're working on it mm -hmm. and to create, you know, like a, each year uh, a new collections uh, to be always up to date uh, so we're trying I was really surprised that people buy ornaments and things like that but yeah they do they do sell a lot grandma likes the ornaments see yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those I know are for grandma that's for grandma yeah but you know like the the first concept was like the collage you know just to have like something that looks good on your wall sure. <laughs> and more modern yeah. you know that's really important you've also made the leap to the vendor side of the business right where you're now yeah. a distributor of the netlife suite of products I guess is the way to, to say yeah. it. Can you talk a little yeah. bit about why you decided to do that as if you aren't busy enough <laughs> yeah, I told you I'm crazy a bit. Um, well, you know, this fall, uh, I was like, you know, in the peak season and at the lunchtime, I just look at a Facebook group and, you know, there was like in a photographer uh, groups and I was reading, you know, a photographer going to a nursery or a school and they were charging so little and they had to do like so much, you know, it's a lot of manual labor. Right. If you do that on your own, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, you know, school requirement that you don't really uh, know how to handle and things like that. And just customer service. Mm -hmm. is really really intense and everything happening at the same time you know right. um so i was like ah, is there a way that i can have other photographer access my portal mm -hmm. and my system and they can use it so and i was like trying to, to find a solution and i've contacted glenn nelson uh glenn nelson at hvp uh, who is the distributor for australia and i've asked him is there a way I can do that? And he said, you know what? We're just launching Photo Suite Lite, Photo Link Lite, which is like exactly what you're talking about. And that was it. And after that, um, I was able to, to distribute like the pro version of it. And so, uh, so what, what does that mean, the pro version? What does okay. that entail? Because there's a service component to it, right? With the light version, mm -hmm. all the photographer has have to do is like three step, create a job. Mm -hmm. So import the data in the system, shoot the picture with the QR code and put everything back in the software. Edit it or not edit it because we can also uh, do the editing for them. After that, they're done, that's it. We do take care of everything else. So we will like quality and assurance the, the job. Uh, we will release the job on the web shop. We will even take care of the customer service. So every email 
and phone calls. And I'm telling you, there is a lot for school. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, no, I, I know very well that this is not a, a hands-off process. No, uh, <laughs> you know, and it's, I'm, I'm always surprised. I'm always saying, oh, I'm not saving life. It's just like school picture, you know, but it's like the parent can call you if you don't answer right away. They can call you like five times in a row, but we take care of that. We take care of the printing, take care of the shipping, and then we distribute back the money to uh, the photographer. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So the photographer really can focus on what he loves to do. Right. Take pictures. So that's, the, the, now is that the light or the pro version? So that's the light version. Light. And that's, yeah. So that's really good for, you know, someone that uh, does. Oh, well, like yourself, when you were starting out, that's what you wanted. Honestly, if I could have that, oh my God. I, and, you know, we always, we, we also educate them and help them through the process of growing their business. Right. And, oh, I would have saved myself so much time. <laughs> <laughs> right. So much time. Uh, so that's the light version. And the pro version usually is, uh, is tailored more to uh, 10,000 ads and more per year. Mm -hmm. So a bit bigger studio. I, and, and then they, they can, you know, um, customize everything it's their own portal uh with their name with their everything with their packages and you know so and we do uh we do take them from step one until the full implementation so it's a process it's different mm -hmm. with the light version download the software do the job yeah. you know you're good to go right. it's really you're good to go with the implementation you take about it takes about a month you know to to be really uh to set everything up what possessed you to want to take that on besides being crazy <laughs> it's part of me i like to um i always like to help others you know to grow i love to sex i love to the success mm -hmm. and um I love the community side of it too, you know, like getting together, you know, being photographer is a lot of soul thing, you know? Right. Yep, by yourself, yep. By yourself. And, you know, there's a bit of, there's a community of, you know, volume photography in the US, but okay. there's not really one in Canada. Right. So it's really part of, my ambition to develop one and mm. and to make that kind of photography a good photography business because mm. it's it's I think it seems a bit more like you know that low key photographers but you can do really great things mm -hmm. you know and that kind so there's another piece to the uh, photosuite.ca business right you're like a, the north american distributor is that correct mm -hmm. yeah i'm an north american distributor yeah so even somebody in the u.s who wants to tap into this system can tap into it so yeah how did that come about where all of a sudden you know you're relatively small area north of montreal and now you're across a continent <laughs> <laughs> thanks to covid we can <laughs> you know <laughs> we can zoom everywhere now I even moved to, you know, I was more in the suburb really near Montreal before, and now I'm by the lake full time, you know, full time. It's crazy. I love it. I'm lucky, but yeah, uh, now we can connect to people and we can work together thanks to technology. You know, I think that's one of the good sides, if I may say, of, you know, maybe what COVID made us realize and mm -hmm. and you know COVID was not a good time for anyone photographers you know if you're doing like corporate shots or you know like all the business were closed it was really hard you know uh, I, I'm thinking even like the wedding photographer they were hit hard and even like with the the photo suite light they can they can use it you would say oh you know, wedding is not a, you know, it's not a volume photography thing, but it can be. Mm -hmm. 
because right. while you're there, everyone uh, looks nice. So you can do picture, you right. know, of the attendees and you can sell them to that a solution like photo link, yep. photo suite. So world is a small place now, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Certainly is. I was even, uh, uh, Ari from NetLife even introduced me uh, to uh, a school photographer in South Africa. And that was really nice, you know, to compare the market and, you know, mm -hmm. what is different. And one day I wanted to, you know, another dream of mine, a uh, crazy dream is like to do like a worldwide project you know, with school photographer to have like a worldwide portrait of the students around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, that could be so nice, you know, yeah. to do something like that. That would be kind of cool. That would be. So you've got big dreams. So you're looking forward yeah. as we move forward into 2021. What do you hope to see happen and accomplish? To help other photographer to thrive in the business, mm -hmm. uh, to start or just to be more efficient and um to you know if i can save them all the stress right and all the you know uh i, I was tr i was pretending that i know i knew everything and i, I knew nothing right like nothing you know well, that, like even honestly that's the case with a lot of photographers when they start out is you know oh you just put it on manual or program and go through and i know how to take a picture and it's like especially in the portrait or the volume business it's not like that at all <laughs> taking the actual picture is probably the least tricky part of the business yeah in volume photography yes. yeah but not when you do the kind of <laughs> portrait that we do because the light is different everywhere mm -hmm. and you know sometimes you're using available we... light you're not bringing in light stands or anything you're just using available light in the classroom yeah, with the uh, reflectors. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, yeah, because we we don't have like the time to set up, and so we have to adjust because sometimes the the classroom is like red or orange on three <laughs> walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really really hard, but <laughs> so you have to be you have to think on your feet when you're there, right? Yeah. Because you don't know what as you go from room to room, you don't know what the light's going to be. Yeah, totally. So, yeah. so is there a specific training you've developed for your people for that? Yeah, we do have, um, we do have like a, a system and really a step-by-step -step guide uh, that we take the photographer uh, through. Mm -hmm. So um, in both, you know, in both in the light version and the pro version. Okay. You know, it's different, of course, right. uh, but it, it's really, it's really nice. I'm in plan, Im, implementing um, the pro version right now with um, a new studio, and it is so great. You know, we share things, and and even like templates. You know, we share. Mm -hmm. It's like it's great. You know, when you can get all together instead of you know competing and just share all the resource and we will all be better together and hopefully sometime in 2021 we will we will actually be together in the same room and yeah in the same room <laughs> taking a plane and you know <laughs> that would be awesome oh, well yeah. thank you annie for your time and uh, wishing you the best in your new ventures have a great 2021 thank you same to you gary for listening to the Dead Pixel Society podcast. Read more great stories and sign up for the newsletter at www.thedeadpixelssociety.com.